Rouse's Markets is noted best grocery store in New Orleans, best grocery store in Baton Rouge, Mississippi, Gulf Coast, Thibodeau, Homa, Hammond, Lake Charles, Mobile, year after year. Thank you for choosing us best grocery store on the Gulf Coast. Number one. Thank you. Thank you. The number one grocery store. In Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana. A million customers a week can't be wrong. Welcome to Rouse's. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And, you know, we always like to give you updated information, especially when it comes to getting some of these uh, criminals off the street and what our law enforcement is doing about that. As we turn our attention now to Mr. Lonnie Cavalier again, Assumption Parish Public Information Officer. Lonnie, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. I know we got a lot to go over today. Let's start with uh, Ms. Anna Bergman uh, from Labadeville. Yes, on Sunday night, um, uh, I'm sorry, Monday night, Ms. Bergman was clocked by one of our ICE assigned units doing 87 miles an hour on Highway 398 in Labadeville. Wow. The uh, deputy was able to uh, stop that vehicle and make contact with Anna Bergman. She is uh, from the state of Texas. She had one occupant with her. Uh, the officer conducted interviews of both the passenger and the driver. And at the end of those interviews, decided that a canine uh, would, would, uh, would be used to, uh, to do an, an, a sniff of the interior of the vehicle. In doing so, uh, the canine alerted positive to the presence of controlled dangerous substances. And as a result, a search was conducted in which uh, doses of Adderall, Ponopin, hydrocodone, uh, a quantity of marijuana, and assorted drug paraphernalia was uh, recovered, seized, uh, and attributed to Ms. Bergman. She was arrested and booked into the Paris jail uh, on those charges and uh, remains there today in lieu of $125,000 bond. Yeah, and it looks like that methamphetamine was with the intent to distribute. So again, Correct. we have somebody coming in from out of town with the intent to distribute that in, in our area. Correct, and that, that investigation has, you know, basically grown some legs, and it's not the end of that story, but uh, we, we'll, you know, we'll follow that up at the appropriate time. Yes, sir. We, we know that y'all will always keep digging to find out what, what is happening. Uh, sounds like we had some other uh, situations happening uh, with uh, Mr. LaRose, 28, of uh, Redwood Street. Yes, Mr. Ro on Sunday evening, deputies responded to a, mes a domestic disturbance on Redwood Street. Upon arrival, made contact with Mr. LaRose's wife, who indicated that uh, they had had a, an argument uh, at that time. It was not physical. Uh, Mr. LaRose left uh, and at some point made forced entry back into his home. Uh, however, he does not face charges in connection with the forced entry. As deputies attempted to speak to him, he took off in his vehicle and deputies uh, chased him. Mm. And uh, he crashed his car in Labadeville uh, near Redwood Street. And he was arrested on charges of aggravated flight from an officer and a uh, fugitive warrant from Lafouche Parish. And Brandon uh, Jude LaRose posted a $3,500 commercial bond and was then transferred to the custody of the LaFouche Parish Sheriff's Office. Yeah, and uh, again, it's one of those things where that's where y'all work so well and so closely with other law enforcement agencies to make sure that we are uh, addressing issues that happen in different parishes. So I'll always yeah, glad for that. Relation, good working relationship with LaFouche Parish. Yes, sir. Uh, and then we also have the arrest uh, of Mr. Isaac Campbell III on Jacob Street. Yes, Mr. Mr. Isaac Campbell is a resident of our parish on Jacob Street in Bertrandville. He's 35 years of age. Uh, the uh, narcotics section developed information that he was trafficking in illegal substances uh, in and around Assumption Parish. And over a period of time, they conduct purchases of marijuana and Adderall from him. Uh, based upon those purchases, they obtained warrants for his arrest. And he was uh, booked into the parish jail on charges of distribution of Adderall and distribution of marijuana. And he remains incarcerated there. 
Very good. We appreciate all of those updates. And now something that you guys are always so very good at is really making sure that we're honoring and supporting our veterans. Let's talk a little bit about um, the, the assistance that's going to be taking place and the help that they have. And I think we have a flyer for that as well. Yes, th this is a, a, an event taking place on August 13th, uh, coming up in the next few days at the Municipal Auditorium on Morgan City. And we want to remind people that although it's not in the 6th Congressional District, which is where we're at, uh, we were uh, graciously invited by Congressman Higgins' office to allow our people to go there, uh, our veterans to go there, who are in need of any assistance uh, in, in procuring uh, medication, records, whatever the case might be. Uh, and, and we encourage our veterans to, to utilize these services. There's no cost to them. It is going to be held at the Municipal Auditorium in Morgan City. So even if you're from Assumption Parish, you are in, able to attend this event in the 3rd Congressional District. Yeah, and so Clay, uh, Clay Higgins is going to be helping provide that. It's the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, and again, so very glad that our veterans are, are honored, even though it's, it's not their district. We're, we're glad to help them. Uh, they're going to go over a number of different things, uh, sign up for medical benefits, as you said, uh, be able to file or check the status of a disability claim, because very often that's very difficult for veterans to be able to get. Uh, be able to apply for residence in some of the state-run veterans homes, as some of our veterans get a little bit older and need more help. Uh, they can register register for job services, and they can also learn about other available uh, benefits. And if you're interested, down there at the bottom of the screen, you can see you can RSVP or you can ask direct inquiries to 337-703-6105 or at clayhiggins.house.gov backslash vets, V-E-T-S. And so uh, I appreciate it very, very much, uh, Lillian, and, and all of the things that you guys do, Lonnie, uh, and that the sheriff does to make sure that all of the people are protected and making sure that our ver veterans are supported. We appreciate it. Thank you all for allowing us to report these uh, these uh, deals going on uh, to the public. We appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. You got it. All right, guys. Well, uh, we appreciate everything and want our veterans to make sure that they're validated and supported. Uh, and we appreciate that. Thanks for watching. That will do it for this particular edition of Bayou Time. But don't go anywhere. A whole lot more when we come back. Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer. Attorneys at Law, Terrebonne Ford, Built Ford Tough.